you got a TIR condition. What is the TIR? When light travel from denser to rarer medium, angle of incidence is more than critical angle, then light comes back into the same medium that is called TIR. Okay. Sir, what is the use of TIR? TIR best application is optical fiber. Optical fiber. Sir, what is the use of optical fiber? You may get it out like this. Day to day life, internet or communication purpose, we are using optical fiber. Sir, one of the important four marks question for IP part of you and competitive part of you, one time they given it as a direct question based on optical fiber. Before that, I want to analyze fiber construction and working, sir. Optical fiber size is one sixth of the hair size. Do you understand? One sixth of the hair size means it is in the order of micron, micron size. Now, that optical fiber is like this cylindrical view. I do not want to represent in cylindrical way, I want to cut the cylinder like this, cut the cylinder like this. So, I am going to get cross section as two rectangular strips I am going to get like this, two of parts, one of the rectangular strip is like this. That cross section I am representing to you like this. Actually cylindrical pipe, if you want for the sake of you understand clearly diagram of optical fiber is like this. I want to cut this optical fiber like this cross section wise, one of the cross section is like this. Okay. Optical fiber consists of two coaxial cylinders. Best example for two coaxial cylinders is your television wire. If you observe the television wire, a black probe is there. If you cut the black probe or black wire, electronic long ways probe means wire. If you cut the probe known as black probe, we are going to find aluminum wires and their white color, white color once again probe sir. Then cut white probe, we are going to find copper wire. That system is coaxial cable. Aluminum wires and copper wire, coaxial cable, they lie in the same cylinder. Like this, I am going to find in the case of optical fiber also coaxial cables. So, to understand optical fiber, I gave television cable, but your fiber size is not television cable. It is one sixth of the hair size, micron size. Remember this. It is minute in size. These are the two coaxial cables. This is axis of the coaxial cable. Right. Well and good. Inside a part is called core, another one is outer layer is called cladding. Core and cladding. Now this is core refractive index is let it be mu 1 and cladding refractive index is mu 2. I think so numbers you can understand from your NCRT book, it is not a big issue. How the fiber works? Light is incident on the one of the refracting surface like this. One of the refracting surface is incident like this. Here I am going to define one of the definition known as glancing angle. Glancing angle is that angle at which maximum portion of the incident light, incident light enter into the fiber. That angle is called glancing angle. Once again I want to repeat it. Light is incident on the fiber is in such a way that the maximum portion of light is enter into the fiber that angle of incidence is called glancing angle. Yeah. Once it enters, 
I think so you know about this air to medium, rarer to denser. Then light moves towards the normal. This is angular refraction or okay, well and good. And next, sir. Here mu1 mu2. I am going to define like this. Mu1 is greater than mu2. Previous I said with you. Which one medium is having, which one medium is having more refractive index that is a denser. Once again, medium has more refractive index is a denser. Mu1 is denser, mu2 rarer. Next. Now if you observe this fiber, mu1 is greater than mu2 means light move from denser to rarer. If light incident is more than critical angle more than critical angle comes back into the same medium known as because of the phenomenon TIR. Once again sir, TIR takes place and comes out through the fiber like this. He observed or not, light is not coming out from the cladding also. Outside layers say it is not coming out sir. That means light is moving only in the core. One of the advantage of this fiber is there is no loss of light in the surrounding medium. Because it is not crossed the core and it is coming out cladding. This core is also called as light guiding core. Why? Because it guides the light to move inside by a phenomenon known as TIR. Next. Okay, well and good. Next. Suppose this is fiber is one sixth of air size. Well and good that is a soft material known as glass or like that. How to increase the strength of the cable? There is a third layer known as a supporting structure which gives a supporting to the cable that is called sehat. Supporting structure is called sehat. So in this way, once the light enter into the fiber, it won't comes out. Right, well and good. Next you may get it out like this. What is the relation for glancing angle and uh, mu1, mu2? How to get this? Sir, here it is the phenomenon is refraction. Before going to mathematical derivation, you observed or not, you observed or not, anywhere light is not superposing each other. Suppose if I think of, if I want to give an example for this communication purpose, Cell phone has lost a digit number, 10 digits is there, 320 is one number and 321 is another number. If I call to the 320 number person of lost 3 digits, whatever I speak with the third 320 person, is it possible to listen 321 or 319? If it is possible to listen, we do not speak any secrets in the phone. But why they are not able to listen these two persons, they are having near numbers. The reason is only one thing, there is no superimposition of light in the optical fiber. That is the reason they cannot listen the, they cannot listen the number, whoever, whatever the information I given to the 320 number person, they cannot nearby the persons also, they cannot listen. Through the fiber, we can able to send or transmit signals in the optical fiber without superimposition. That means it avoids the interference also. Two things I am going to give advantage with fiber. It will not radiate. Second one is it will not superimpose the light inside the optical fiber. Next. Relation between mu1, mu2 and IL I want. Okay sir. First I want to apply the Snell's law. Mu1 sin i equal to mu2 sin r. Sir up to this IP part enough. Next I am thinking like this. Mu1 sin i equal to mu2 sin r. Mu1 for competitive purpose only. Mu1 is 1 into sin il. Mu2 is nothing but what? Mu1 sin r. From this data, 1 into sin il equal to mu1 into sin r. Sin il equal to mu1 into sin r. Right. I am going to think about limiting condition. Let it be, the limiting condition is like this. Core, IL, this is C. 
this becomes 90 C. Apply Snell's law between core and cladding that is mu 1 sin i equal to sin c mu 2 into sin r sin r is what sin 90. Now that is mu 1 sin c equal to mu 2 sin c equal to mu 2 by mu 1. Okay, but uh, if I observe the diag this equation 1 and 2, I am not finding c term in the equation. But right angle if you observe it or 90 C, 90 or C, what I am going to get sir, R equal to 90 minus C, then from 1, sin I L equal to, glancing angle equal to mu 1 into sin 90 minus C, sin 90 minus C, sin 90 minus C is what, cos C, mu 1 into cos c, mu 1 into cos c what I can write? 1 minus sin square c under root because cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1. From 1, from 2 what I am going to get? From 2, mu 1 into root of 1 minus mu 2 by mu 1 whole square. Now that is make it LCM sir, that is mu 1 square minus mu 2 square under root is glancing angle. What about mu 1 denominator, mu 1 denominator? Cancelled sir. This is condition for glancing angle. Okay, mathematical they can ask you glancing angle direct formula to you in the computed examination. Sin I L equal to root of mu 1 square minus mu 2 square is the glancing angle. Okay, what is the use of other uses of optical fiber? Optical fiber the major application is communication purpose already I said with you with example of cell phone. Another one is, in medicine we use more number of times. Olden days, inside of the human body, if I want to observe any part which is not visible, they have to operate the system. Nowadays, it is not necessary. We are able to observe the inside of the human body by using fiber that the devices known as laparoscope and endoscope. Laparoscope, endoscope works on the principle of optical fiber. One of the important two marks question for you, optical fiber uses. One is for communication purpose, second one is in medication, medical industry, endoscope and laparoscope work on the principle of that of optical fiber. Next one more application is in the household decoration, flower vase is there. I think so you observe this, flower vase with uh, wires like this, fine wires you will find it with lights I am going to get like this. This flower was wires also what optical fiber sir. In this way we can learn about optical fiber like this sir. But works on what principle? TIR.